in this exercise I'm just zooming with my pin zoom if you're using mouse you can right click and you can zoom out so what I'm doing basically I'm just zooming it out and placing my view controller scene at top left now I want to create an application which has multi controller environment now for multi controller environment I'll use UI tab bar controller so I'll search for UI tab bar controller in my object library I'll drag the UI tab bar controller so when you drag the UI tab bar controller you get UI tab bar scene which has which is connected to the item 1 scene and item 2 scene right so your document library tree get three more scenes now if you see tab bar controller is connected by an arrow to the two controllers because tab bar controller says I am an array of controller so I need at least two object to hold right this connection between the scene is called segue okay now when I so when we were doing tab bar controller we were configuring the tab icons right so when you click on the tab icons it zooms into the item so your item one gets selected okay Similarly, you can want to select item 2, it will get selected item 2. Okay, so I'll select item 1. I'll say item 1 needs to be say home image. I'll say home.png. Done. Wow, without writing a single line of code, you can still make the application. I'll say gallery in image. I'll say gallery.png. Wow, cool, right? Now I want to change the color of this scene so I'll click on the view of the respective controller you will get a background color I'll select red for this I'll click on the view of item 1 I'll select the colors whichever you want now so I got tab bar controller holding two tabs now if I run this project I'll get a previous scene only because I didn't tell the project that which should be a root view controller now to do that you know this small arrow you just drag this arrow and drop it on a tab bar controller and run your application wow isn't it cool so basically this arrow indicates which should be a root view controller the initial controller for your project now suppose I want to add so I'll say this one it's not a home it should be an apps okay and apps view done now I want to add this scene also to a tab bar so I'll press the control key drag an arrow from tab bar controller to your view controller scene and release my finger from the mouse so right click if you're using a mouse right click and drag and drop or if you're using a trackpad and a keyboard press control key and drag it now the relationship between the controller and the tab bar controller is defined by a proper relationship called view controllers so when you do view controllers automatically a sagu will get created so a third tab got created and the tab icon appeared on the controller scene so when I click on here I can say it's an home it's a home the PNG but we see order home came afterwards right so if you want to reorder it you can reorder it directly here without having to do any coding change so now you have reordered your tabs as per your need you stop your project run it again so when you run your project Wow you got another tab flawlessly wow amazing now suppose uh, so in your next exercise we'll be exploring how to design the table view how to get the navigation controller bind with the each controller screen and how to remove the scene add a new scene everything without writing a single line of code that's the spirit now that's amazing so now if you see the storyboard it gives the entire flow of your application in one single file now that's the beauty of storyboard